What is your best they can't send us all to detention story? We walked out to protest the vice principal being replaced. It was 99% of the junior and senior class. And they couldn't give us all detention. They did give detention to those who didn't come back from the football field and just left to go get drunk though. Who knew? In 11th grade, my gym teacher had the high school change uniform rules so that none of the girls past 10th grade could wear shorts at all during PE, no matter the length. It wouldn't have been so frustrating if the teacher herself hadn't worn booty shorts and was never told to cover up because she was leading the married principal around by his dick. So all of us in my grade that had gym wore pants the next day but refused to do anything except sit on the floor the entire period. The principal was called and threatened us all with ISS, but we kept sitting and ignored him. We repeated it for two more days before they let us wear shorts again. Another teacher had called the school board and the school board was like just let them wear shorts, it's PE class. It's lame but it's all I got. When I was in high school a student walked up to the front of the class and pulled the clock off the wall and wounded forward to one minute past when the bell typically would ring. The entire class watched him doing this and actively began distracting the teacher so she wouldn't notice. He goes back to his seat calmly and raises his hand. Excuse me, Miss Spanish teacher? Yes? Can we go now I think I heard the bell oh my goodness everyone go. The entire class sprinted out the door and started booking it down the hallways and into the parking lot. The assistant principal took over the class for the rest of the week. When I was in high school the first wave of smartphones were coming out. People would record the school bell and play it back near the teacher 5 to 10 minutes early. Only worked for a couple of weeks though. Last year my school went on a ski trip to Vermont and the teachers would put tape on the doors in order to tell if people left their rooms after a certain time after curfew. The people in my room and I wanted to leave for some reason, so when we left we just took the tape from every single door and threw it all away in the lobby. The teachers were pissed but nothing ever happened to us. Last day in one school in 8th grade before moving to another school 2 hours away. Had tater tots for lunch, a friend said something so I tossed a ketchup covered tot onto his tray. He said food fight and tossed it back. I threw it at his face. Someone else joined in. Pretty soon 50 some kids were tossing tots. Big ass food fight. It all got blamed on me because I was leaving. When I got to my new school, they had been told and the second day there I was called into the principal's office where I was threatened with a suspension if anything like that happened there. Principal of my high school slipped on a ketchup packet in the lunchroom and broke his leg during senior year. For the graduation walk, everyone handed him a packet of ketchup as we shook hands. Harmless enough, but he was visibly not amused. There was also a sizable pile of ketchup at his feet after the stage walk. Our temp teacher left the room to get something, and while she was out, someone locked the door. Eventually the teacher gets back and finds she doesn't have the key, and no one inside the room will unlock the door for her, so she has to call the head of department to unlock it for her. Then the temp and the head of department make all kinds of threats about what will happen if none comes forward, but no one does. And that's how we found out that they actually can put an entire class in detention. We have been to Berlin in 11th grade. During this trip, we drank a lot of alcohol. It was strictly forbidden, but we always managed to drink without the teachers noticing it. Then there was the final day. We drank much more compared to the previous days, and we didn't care much about the teachers' opinions. The party was over at 11 p.m. after the teachers have found half the class in one room. The room smelled of weed, so the police was called. In addition, one guy was brought to the hospital. Noon except for the guy landing in the hospital was punished for it, because everyone was involved. In junior high, I was in a gifted class with a teacher the majority of us were not crazy about. When she left the room, we moved the teacher's desk about two inches to the left. We then moved all of the student desks about two inches in the opposite direction. She returned to the room and sat at her desk with her chin in her hand, 
looking confused, for the remaining 20 minutes of class. This is really not that impressive I now realize, but this was about as daring as I got in 8th grade. We turned the student parking lot into a beach. A bunch of us pooled money together to get a few truck loads of sand cheap, and we dumped it out into the parking lot put up kiddie pools and volleyball nets and partied until the cops told us we had to go home. Spanish teacher last period hit us with a surprise hour-long test after class. We all had no heads up and had other plans so everyone decided to tank the test, including the Spanish students. We all got detention.